Okay, hello, this is Assassin of Lords playing Good Game, Good Game Empire. Since I never upload anything on YouTube on this topic, as you know, I'm a, well, you see, I'm level 69, just about to be 70, very close. I'm in HB Hades, one of the best alliances, with a noob as a leader. You can tell, look at his name. Will Hel Helmet. Okay, whatever. So, I guess we're. I'm gonna show you how to do very good in Vermont. Oh, and my buildings are burning because of the war against Titans, which I'm still not sure who's winning, but whatever. So, the secret to Vermont. I'm second place, not exactly first because I'm recru recruiting. So, yeah. Okay, let's go there. Why is it so slow? So the secret is the secret to this is to put six hour feast up, of course. It's plus six hundred percent recruitment. And you just keep on building whatever troop you use. And another secret to it is what's it called? You have to attack as many people as possible. Try to find people without any, what's it called, low level people and send two spies in at minimum. I'll tell you how to figure out if you should attack target or not in a second. So just send as many as you can to the, to the lower level. So yeah. Okay, so let's see. Okay, he has zero troops. I mean, this is perfect for what we're doing. So, attack everyone of zero troops. Let's see, how many do I have to send? Oh, whatever. I'll just send all of it. Here. Zero troops also. And just attack it. All of them. Zero, okay, exactly three. Every three, you get a reward called the, what's it called? I think it's, the mission's called No Mercy. I'll open it in a second. Somewhere over here. Yeah, no, no mercy. Every three, you're going to get 15 of these, which will really increase it. Like, how much you get. That's... One of the most important things, because you don't really lose troops. I mean, it counts if you're hitting someone of no people, and you can't really lose troops unless we move them, which only happened to me like in two attacks out of like 50. So, so far, I already have 120. So yeah, attack as many as possible. Try to find people that are. Well, lower level, of course. They're weaker, probably. Or people with, like, low, what's it called, glory titles. Like, look, he's a level 70, but a Marquise. Like, I'm not even level 70 yet, and, I'm, and I already reached, what's it called, Steel Hearted before. So, yeah. Just by... And try not to attack people of 300 legendary level. If they're here and they have no troops, I'm pretty sure they moved to the capital or, they're or they are attacking. So it's pretty dumb if you want to aggravate them. Okay, let's see. Find as many people as possible. Usually, try to stay closer to the front line. Because usually those are people that get attacked. Like level 30, all the way back here. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's going to have troops in. Let's see. See if I'm right. Yeah, and as you see, gold isn't exactly my problem right now. Yep. I got 
maybe probably about 700,000 in Barry Munns this event. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. So yeah. Let's see maybe how many troops he's going to have. See, troops. Knew it. Okay, I don't know how I got those. Those are cool. I don't know how to get them. You know, maybe I should attack them just to kick those troops. No, I'm not going to attack them. Yeah, but if you still have spearmen, or if you have macemen, that's even better. But since I already researched vet macemen, which is useless for me since my alliance has a capital, just try to not do research. I mean, the defenders, that's one thing if you don't have a capital in your alliance. But I did the opposite. I researched the attackers, which is very dumb. Because you get to recruit way better troops here. I mean, they're expensive, of course. See? The Emperor Marksman, they cost ex a lot. So, yeah, let's see. Oh my god. Are you this slow? Wow. Well, I'm not going to heal that. See? So these cost 300. And th these are the ones you get first. I mean, you can't really drop a lower rank than this. If you get like 20,000, um, what's it called? Whatever those points are called? Gallantry? I'm pretty sure you're going to keep them like non-stop. But this is what I recruit because they look a lot better. Those look pretty ugly if you ask me. Yeah, and... While you're in Bermond, recruit the best attack troops you have everywhere. Or Spearmen, if you need to do those fast looting attacks. Okay, let's see how long it's going to take. So. Oh, and try to recruit nonstop so they don't waste any time on this. Oh, I already got one victory. Awesome. See, and that counted toward one. Remember how I had zero last time? I killed no troops and I have one. One third in the waiter. I'm almost gonna hit a little bit more now. Yeah, and the towers here give. Where is it? My last tower attack. Here it is. They give 400, exactly. You'll see how much it gives with the 15 of those that they're giving me. It'll do like about 500. Think a little bit under. Or like 520. Probably what? what's it? Yeah, it's probably about 520. 520. Can't talk now. Oh my god, this is so slow. I might not even make it in the 15 time limit. 15 minute time limit. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to send an attack. Do you think I have enough? Let's see. Oh, wrong thing. Um, that should be enough. I'm just going to attack. So, every tower has two waves of the tools. So, you might want to Ah, oh, my good commander's out. It sucks. Well, whatever. I'm gonna use this anyway. This will give give me a little bit more loss, but whatever. I'll show my I'll show you my good commander after he gets back. So with this commander, all you need to do is send three, I think. Oh wow. What is happening? Fine. I'll do it manually. So, and I'm, and I, yeah, 
And let's see. I'm going to send 15. That's how much you would get. Are you kidding? Fifteen, that's plus thirty percent. Let's see. So yeah. Hopefully it ends up there sometime. So slow. Oh, another victory. Just one more victory and I'll get it. And my leader isn't really a noob. I had to call him that. He's probably going to kick me if he ever sees this YouTube video. But sure. I told him I'll call him it. Let's see if he's burning yet. From this war on titans. And he's not burning at all. Wow. I don't believe that. Hall of Legends. Can't wait till I'm level 70. That's one level. Okay, sometime. Well, I'm going to make part two of this video, since it only lets me upload 15 minutes. I don't even know why. But sure. At least this won't make it. I have 30 seconds to show you the report. Wow, so slow. Yeah, and also, if you have a good commander, you're going to be making, like, like, actually make 15,000 gold profit. Well, the tools, of course. Well, I don't buy the tools, but I make the tools. It's not exactly gold, but, yeah. Like, this commander, I'm probably going to lose about 100. Maybe 120. Not so much. Yep. It's 95% range. My other one's 104% range. And 30% courtyard, I think. Let's see. That's 30%. Oh, and of course it came back now. 35%. And this is my, I guess, Nomad one. I'm trying to collect all of the equipments for it. And that's the commander I'm using. It's made for range, of course. Because the Berrymond's helmet gives her range, and the chest plate gives her range for the lion. I don't know why. But if you ever want to. Okay. I think the report should hit by now. Let's see. If you want a good melee commander, put both of them together. Because they'll give you a 40% bonus. And it's 530. Just like what I guessed. So yeah, see you on part two.